This is the third lecture of the series on flat belt. As the title of uh, this lecture suggests, it's a supplementary. So this means that we will going to cover few very important concepts and terminologies that were left over in the previous two lectures. I hope the bottom right hand side figure is very much familiar to you because we already have discussed it uh, for so many times in the previous two lectures. Uh, for the sake of convenience, I will repeat the basic uh, terminologies and the things that are related to this figure um, one more time. So here we have a driver shaft and the driver pulley which is in blue color is mounted on the red color driver shaft. Uh, we have a a uh, driven shaft which is a red color shaft and the blue color driven pulley is mounted over the uh, driven shaft uh, whereas a black color flat belt is looped around the driver pulley as well as the driven pulley so by this uh, mechanism the belt and pulleys mechanism we are going to transmit power from the driver side to the driven side uh, in case of flat open belt, uh, the angle of rotation of driver pulley and the driven pulley, they are both same. If, for example, if the driver pulley is rotating in the counterclockwise direction, then definitely the driven pulley will also rotate in the counterclockwise direction. There are a few terminologies um, which we have discussed in the previous lecture, which are the D1, the diameter of the driver pulley, D2, the diameter of the driven pulley, um, the distance x, which is the uh, distance from center of the driver pulley till the distance uh, to the center of the driven pulley. Uh, angle theta, which is the wrap angle, um, here the, it refers to the angle when there is a um, uh, contact is made between the belt and pulley so uh, for the sake of convenience i made some markers like this marker the yellow color uh, circle with the uh, red highlights um, so what is happening the contact between um, belt the black belt and the blue pulley starts here and then it ends at this point so if we draw a line from this start of contact point to the center of the pulley then again the end of the uh, contact point to the center of the pulley so this whole angle is referred to as wrap angle theta similarly we have a driven pulley the blue color pulley and the black belt so what is happening we will make a line when the uh, belt is making first contact with this blue pulley and this line will start from here till the center of the pulley. Similarly, when this belt is looping around or wrapping around this pulley and at the point when it just ends, uh, this wrapping, it just ends. So we will draw a line from this final end till the center. So whatever the angle is made between these two lines is referred to as wrap angle theta. So the wrap angle of theta, um, as the name suggests, it's actually the angle when the belt is wrapping uh, around these pulleys. The belt is wrapping around these pulleys. Yeah, one terminology that is left here um, is the angle uh, alpha. So angle alpha is uh, the angle um, when uh, we make a um, line, uh, a, a line which is splitting this pulley into two halves. Uh, so there is a central line which is splitting the pulley in two halves. So the angle alpha for the driver pulley is like uh, the angle between the central line till the start of or till the end of uh, the wrap angle. So this angle refer as, um, uh, angle alpha refer as, uh, the angle between the central line that we have drawn for the pulley till the start 
of wrap angle or the end of wrap angle. In case of driver pulley, this angle, the magnitude of angle alpha is very much similar to the magnitude of driver pulley angle alpha, but the um, how it is um, uh, it's, it's, it's conceptually made is a bit different. You can see that we have a angle, we have a line which is splitting the uh, driver driven pulley into two halves. So the angle that is made between um, the the point, uh, the the wrapping angle, the start of wrapping angle, till the this the central line, or the end of wrapping angle, till the central line. So these angles are referred to as uh, angle alpha. I will repeat again the angle alphas, both the angle alpha they are same uh, in magnitude but how they are considered they are a bit different in case of uh, driver pulley the angle alpha is excluding the angle uh, the wrap angle theta whereas angle alpha is included in the wrap angle theta so you can see that this is wrap angle and both these alphas they are included in the uh, angle theta in case of driven whereas in case of uh, driver pulley um, the wrap angle is outside this angle alpha or angle alpha are the outside uh, from this uh, wrap angle um, the magnitude of um, wrap angle in case of driver pulley is a bit different from the driven pulley as you can see in case of uh, uh, driver pulley the angle theta or wrap angle is equal to pi minus 2 alpha whereas in case of driven pulley the angle theta is pi plus 2 alpha um, how this relation is came uh, i will request you to just uh, google the term relationship between pi and circle then you will came to know there is some relationship between um, the circle as you can see we have the circles the smart circle for the driver pulley the big circle for the driven pulley and there is a relationship between pi and circle just google it and go through it i hope you will get some point um, how this pi is came here in this relationship if in case um, you find some difficulty then please let me know and then uh, i will try my level best to explain this terminology but it just is simple mathematics so it's nothing more um, there are a few things that I made here is um, the red lines you can see um, they are drawn parallel to the um, tight side or the red line here is parallel to the uh, slick side so both these red lines are very much similar to each other or they are symmetrical to each other so if you take this or that um, it doesn't uh, uh, like they are both are same so you can consider any of the red line uh, for the sake of convenience i will take this line so this uh, this line is parallel to this tight side of the belt and uh, um, and and the the magnitude of this um, the magnitude of, magnitude of this red line is uh, similar to the tight side which start from the first contact of the driver pulley um, till the end of the uh, driven pulley so what is happening here the length from this point to the, this point is similar to the length of red line from here till here and also both these lines this red line and this black line which represent the um, belt they are parallel and it's same magnitude now what is happening here if you pay close attention then you will see that the there is angle alpha this angle alpha is the angle between the uh, center to center um, center to center line center of the driver to, uh, to the center of the uh, driven pulley um, and the this line this this angle is between this central line and this parallel red line and the angle alpha is of 
same magnitude as of this self angle or this self angle. So uh, it's just a geometrical consideration. If uh, you recall your memory about the trigonometry and geometrical consideration, then you can easily identify this angle alpha that it is same angle as of this and this. That's why it's represented by angle alpha. Now we are going to play something with this angle alpha. Uh, what is happening here that uh, you can see this um, uh, symbolic representation which is which is showing that the, this angle is the right angle or 90 degree angle if this angle is a 90 degree angle this means um, this side uh, from here to here it will be a base from here to here this will be a perpendicular and from here till here this will be hypotenuse so x is the hypotenuse o a point is the perpendicular so uh, if we recall our memory what sine alpha will be so in case of this alpha this sine alpha will be um, perpendicular by hypotenuse so o a represents the perpendicular whereas uh, this distance x it represent the magnitude of hypotenuse so angle alpha becomes perpendicular by hypotenuse or oa the magnitude of line oa uh, divided by the magnitude of x what is happening this oa uh, is basically equivalent to if we subtract OB minus AB if we subtract this uh, the this line OB and uh, from this point uh, from this 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 line AB then we will get the magnitude OA I will repeat again uh, this um, from here till here it's the OB if we subtract OB minus AB then we will get distance OA so what is representing here uh, OB minus AB and this OB is basically is the half of the diameter of driven pulley so half of the diameter of the driven pulley whereas um, this AB if you can see it's parallel to the diameter of driver and the driver pulley so this driver pulley distance from here to here is same as AB so this distance AB is actually half of the diameter of driver pulley so here it is um, if we take um, the two common and it will go to the denominator so the final equation of the sine alpha will come d2 minus d1 divided by 2x so um, if you have some question about this equation how it is um, how we have derived it then uh, please let me know and I will try to explain it once more for the sake of convenience oh, a very important terminology that uh, we are going to discuss in this slide is the stress in the belt uh, definitely if there is a power transmission from the driver pulley to the driven pulley with the help of the flag belt then definitely there will be some stresses uh, because of this motion and this power and pushing and pulling system uh, some stresses will be developed in the belt how we can measure them uh, it's very simple we have a simple formula for this which is the maximum tension divided by width into thickness uh, the stress is um, uh, symbolically represented by the, the symbol Sigma so it will be equal to the maximum tension divided by 
thickness multiplication of width and thickness. So, if you can see I just um, uh, magnify this small portion of the belt as a uh, segment here. So, we have a flat belt, it has some thickness T and it has some width W. So, whatever the maximum tension is, so we will write it here. As you remember, there are two tensions, um, tension at the tight side which is represented by T1 and tension at the slack side which is represented by T2. So, whichever stress is, uh, whichever tension is maximum, it will be written down here. By logical interpretation, the uh, tension in the tight side will always should, uh, should shall always be larger than the uh, slack side. So, this T max shall be replaced by T1. But to simplify the things, please write down the tension which is the maximum. So, wherever you find the maximum tension, write the value here in the case of T max. And um, uh, if you select the belt, then it has it will have some width and thickness. So, write the values of width and thickness here by simple dividing this T max by the width into thickness, you will get the stress in the belt. In this slide, you will observe a different kind of belt and pulley arrangement. Basically, this type of arrangement is referred to as flat cross belt arrangement. When the um, belt which is looping around the driver pulley and the driven pulley is crossing over. Um, the very prominent difference uh, between the flat cross belt and the flat open belt is the direction of rotation of both the pulleys. If you, re if you recall your memory, then in case of flat open belt arrangement, the direction of rotation of driver pulley and driven pulley was both in the same direction. Means to say, if driver pulley is rotating in the clockwise direction, then the driven pulley um, shall also be rotating in the uh, clockwise direction. If the driver pulley is rotating in the counterclockwise direction, then driven pulley should be uh, rotating in the uh, counterclockwise direction. However, in case of flat cross belt, when the belt is crossing over the driver and the driven pulley, uh, the angle of rotation is opposite to each other. Means to say, in case of flat cross belt arrangement, if driver pulley is rotating in the clockwise direction, as you can see here, then definitely the driven pulley will rotate in the clockwise direction. So, the direction of rotation is opposite to each other. Just as here, the driver pulley is rotating in the counterclockwise direction, whereas driven pulley is rotating in the uh, clockwise direction. Uh, now, the interesting thing that we are going to evaluate is the angle alpha and the sine alpha. Um, how we are going to um, formulate and sine alpha. In this case, uh, what we are doing, we will extend a imaginary line which is in the red color you can see here uh, from OA to the space. So, we will just draw a line which is extension of this OA line to the space and then we will draw another red line which will be parallel to the belt, this section of the belt. So, we will draw a line parallel to this section, start from here, ends at here, in the same magnitude but parallel. So, we will line, draw a line parallel, this line, the red line here, as you can see the pointed arrow. Uh, the laser pointer. So, this line 
this line is parallel to this line and both the lines like start from here a and at here this point it has the same magnitude so this line has the same magnitude of that line and then the point which uh, at which they are crossing over uh, the, the the line which is extension of the OA line and the line parallel to the uh, belt um, start from here A ends at here A hey, uh, ends in here um, they are crossing over at the point B so this will make an angle alpha to the center to center line so if you um, uh, focus and if you observe is uh, this, this 90 degree angle or right angle uh, then um, uh, this shows that uh, 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 the line OB start from here to here this will be the perpendicular whereas line start from here to here which is the X will be the hypotenuse so sine um, uh, alpha will be uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse so the OB is the perpendicular and this line the X magnitude is the hypotenuse uh, if you further evaluate it then we will know that this this line OB is basically compromise of uh, line OA plus AB OA AB so OA plus AB will becomes OB OA plus AB will become OB and if you further um, look here then we will see the line O is the half of the diameter of driver pulley which is D1 so half of D1 whereas AB is parallel to the half of diameter of driven pulley so this line and this line is similar and they are parallel and of same magnitude so this AB is equal to half of the diameter of driven pulley so if we take this two common into denominator then the final equation of sine alpha will become d1 plus d2 divided by 2x so by this means we have evaluated sine alpha for the cross belt so you will observe um, or if you recall this sine alpha for the open belt which was but which was very much different from uh, what you are observing here for the cross belt in case of open belt the sine alpha was equivalent to d2 minus d1 divided by 2x whereas in case of cross belt what you are seeing here sine alpha is equivalent to d1 plus d2 divided by 2x where x is the distance from the center of the driver pulley till the distance um, of the center of the driven pulley uh, that's all for today's lecture uh, if you have some confusion or some query then i would request you to please um, make a comment on the google classroom or ask it via whatsapp group thank you